I'm here in the shop uh, today and I had a thought about what this is the time of year when you start washing your um, woolens and putting them away you're switching closets from they're going from winter transitioning into spring and summer and we want to take care of our particularly our 100% wool uh, knitted objects and sweaters and things that you've purchased or things that you've made. You want to make sure those nasty little moths don't get to them. Um, I find that the be couple of the things that I do that ensure that the moths stay away. Um, the first thing I would do is I wash my um, all the woolens either by hand or in the machine with cold water and in the machine, it's on cold water, gentle cycle or wool cycle, whatever your machine has. Then I take them out and I let them dry nicely. And then I put them away. You can put uh, your woolens in plastic bags um, and close them up, but don't think that they're really protected that way. Uh, moths have a way of getting into everything. So what I do, um, I have a big closet and I have all my, I don't put my woolens in plastic, but I do put lavender sachets everywhere. We have some in the shop, you can buy them online. Um, and I take them out and rub them every few months to get the odor, um, the scent to come up because moths don't like um, lavender. You can also get cedar shakes or cedar, you can get blocks with cedar. Um, these are shavings that Fiola has put together with us. They don't like cedar, and I know some people have cedar closets that are really good for, for that. These two, you would want to ruffle up after a couple of months. The cedar blocks, you would want to sand because you've got to get that cedar smell to come up so that the moths don't um, get, get at them. One thing that can happen is that despite all your efforts, moths can get in. And it isn't the moths themselves that eat into your woolens. They particularly like cashmere, unfortunately. It's the larvae that um, are going to eventually become the moths and they'll, they just will eat through um, cashmere like crazy. Um, one of the things that I also do is I go, I go to Amazon and on Amazon you can order, they're called Dr. Killian, Killigan, I think it is, moth traps. And they are just um, cardboard little things that fold up into it as a tent. And I was looking around the shop to think, I think I have some around the shop just to be sure we don't get them. But they have a scent to them and they it's like pheromones, I guess. And the moths are attracted to those. So if you put a bunch of those, they're inexpensive um, for what they do for you and put a bunch of those in your closet, um, around anywhere where you might have seen moths or where you're afraid moths will come. So that's my advice. Um, I would, I do try to wash my woolens every season. Um, they, they really benefit from washing. Remember sheep and llamas and alpaca and all those animals live outside. Uh, their hair, fur um, gets wet and it should be cleaned. Um, I would not, and I don't even know any circumstance where I would really send anything wool to the dry cleaners. Wool doesn't want to be dry cleaned. Sheep don't get dry cleaned. Um, so remember, they do well being washed, particularly with these um, wonderful, this is eucalyn. We have it here in the shop. There are a few others that are quite good. Uh, we carry this. There's another one called Soak which I'd recommend, and I'm sure you can find others. This is wonderful because you don't have to rinse it. And I suspect, because I guess since they call it eucalyptus, it's got some eucalyptus in it, and I think that also repels moths. So that's my advice. Um, I'm not always right, but on this one, I think I might be. Have a great day. Thanks, and bye-bye.